Greetings everyone, a quick thank you to everyone hitting that like button on the videos. That one little click is enough to show me that you guys are enjoying the content. If you don't enjoy the content, Edric will visit you while you sleep and swap all your keyboard keys around so you churn out a bunch of Welsh next time you try and use it. And please remember guys, if you do have suggestions or want a change of direction, do let me know in the comments. I am making every video here for you guys watching. These are your videos made just for you. Feel free to have your input, guys. So, without further delay, let's continue. Oh, and apologies for any coughing. I may have the plague, although it's probably just a cold. It's a cold, dark night in Winchester. Hearing a noise outside your lodgings, you go investigate. Upon entering the corridor, you find Alfred's dear friend Beothnot searching the halls. He turns startled at your sudden presence. Forgive me, dear Christian, but have you happened upon my eye? He asks. I had the damn thing last week, I'm certain. With a bewildered look, you shake your head and head back to bed. Now, if you were all expecting another glorious intro like the last episode's United England intro, then tough. My throat hurts from doing the voice and I used all my best footage creating that one. Hmm. Okay, okay. I might do another one since I like you guys so much. Anyway, good morning, noble traveller. A lovely sunny day here in England, of course. Of course, God shines his blessings on our glorious kingdom because God loves England. As always, it's wonderful to see you bright and ready for the day. A very quick catch-up, and I do mean a quick catch-up as I'm pretty sure you guys are already caught up. But just to go through a few things, we did hand out some duchy titles. So, Mercia, Burkrad, Duke Burkrad now... As well, he's Siax. This is Grand Mayor Osric because he's a Republican. Mm hmm, yeah. And also, we have Hewis. Of course, we've got the Duke Elswine. Elfswine, sorry, come on. Elfswine, you look a little bit of a drunkard, sir. Hmm. And of course, we're going to make Enzrith here a Duke as soon as we can actually afford to create his title. It's 250 to create the title. We've got 99 gold. So you have got a little wait, sir, but don't you worry. We haven't forgotten about you. Now, as you know, we marched into Wales and wrecked the place. You're welcome, Wales. And we did manage to capture a noble Welshman's wife. This is the lady. She's very beautiful, as you can see. She is currently in our dungeons. Now, she is a noble woman, so we have been looking after her. And we only put a few mouse droppings in her daily soup compared to what all the other prisoners get, which is just the mouse droppings without the soup, of course. So we was hoping that this useless pile of dog's vomit here was going to pay the ransom for his wife back. However, he has decided that he would prefer to spend his money on buying moderately attractive sheep. So, hmm. Uh, to be honest, we may just keep her. We need somebody to wash Beothnoth's eye patch anyway, so yeah. And uh, yeah, so you may never get your wife back, sir. Plus, we don't like your face, so there we go. Very, very good. Um, other jobs today? Kill the Vikings. Excellent, of course. Excellent. Our majestic bishop, of course, is currently creating a fabricated claim on Lindsay, of course. The claim currently says... Give us the stuff, always sending Edric round. Yes, that should work. And of course, these guys. <laughs> yes, it's always this. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys are sick of hearing about it. And I know we're certainly sick about hearing about it. But unfortunately, what can we do? They keep causing mayhem. So there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly raise our arm here and get them dealt with as quick as possible because they are just an absolute annoyance. So, yes, there we go. We'll create our army very quickly. Army is raised. Mm, do we remove Edric and Elfwalder? No, no, we're going to keep you in. It's fine. It's total overkill, but that'll teach you a lesson for trying to raise up against us. This really has become quite an annoyance now. Mm. 
Yes, of course, of course. So hopefully we can get this, this I don't even want to call it a battle really, because we're going to absolutely annihilate them. So this is the Battle of Cornwall. We do have an advantage. They have no knights, no men at arms, and nothing but men with pointy sticks. And that is, of course, a glorious victory. Wonderful. So, so be it, sir. Yes, so be it. You have lost. Now we're going to disband our army and head back to Winchester. Of course we are. Now, now once we've got to Winchester, we're all nice and comfy. You guys know what time it is. Of course you do. It's dungeon time. Yes, dungeon time. We love dungeon time. Alfred loves dungeon time. It's his favourite time. Now, this gentleman here is the guy who, the Cornishman, who raised up against us. Somebody please go and kick this man. Wonderful. Um, he will be enjoying his mouse droppings. So, as well as the rest of the people. So, that is absolutely lovely. We absolutely love that. So, while we are in Winchester, could you just do me a big favour, please, Noble Traveller, and just go and check on Elf Siege and the progress of the Lindsay Claim. That would be much appreciated. We'll be in our studies, so pop back as soon as you've found out some more information. Lovely. Thank you. We'll see you soon. As you approach Bishop Elfsieg's study room, you hear the exciting shouts of Elfsieg. Entering the study, you find Elfsieg reading a parchment, grinning from ear to ear. I think I've found it, noble traveller. I think I've found proof our king is entitled to the whole kingdom of Jorvik. Let's go and inform the king quick. Welcome back, noble traveller, and what outstanding news we have there. We've managed to get a full claim on the entire kingdom of Jorvik. So, I mean, this is exciting stuff, of course it is. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. All of this will be ours, of course. All hail the king. Wonderful. What we're going to do is a quick, of course, of course, send the Cassius Belly over to Big Ziggy, we are definitely starting a war here. So we're going to raise our entire force, of course we are. Big Ziggy is weakened, his force is slightly weakened, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually defeat him in one big battle and absolutely crush his army. This sounds good, we have got word that his army is on the way. Fingers crossed, we can try and get to him. He is making a mad dash for one of the hills here at Castleton. So this is going to be quite terrible it is going to give him the advantage however we're going to have to see how things go this is the battle of castleton so we do have the advantage and we are managing to yes it does appear we are countering his oh we have some terrible news we have some terrible news we are currently on the battlefield and we have noticed that our dear friend ostrich has just fallen in battle this is terrible news, guys. Alfred, as the battle was has been won. It is a victory at what cost? At what cost? The cost of creating England. We've already created England. Well, expanding England then, sir. You will not die in vain, Osric. Do not worry, sir. So, terrible news. Unfortunately, we haven't got time to mourn our dear friend. We're going to have to have a quick look at the battle reports for the Battle of uh, Castleton here. Now, our new knight, Hakon, and I know you guys are thinking, Hakon, who the hell's that? He's a new knight who has decided to join our ranks, and he is doing an outstanding job. All hail, Hakon, you are the man, sir. Edric as well, he's also doing excellent. El of course, Elvwald, you expect nothing less from these guys, of course. So, quick look into the battle reports, we're just going through them now. Ethelwine, our son, has been wounded. My goodness. Please, please don't die, sir. If you die, we are in serious, serious trouble. What are you doing on the battlefield in the first place, young man? It also seems that we, of course, lost our dear friend. This is terrible. Now, while we bury our good friend, Osric, here, do have a little moment to think of, you know, Osric's been around since day one. He really has. And what a majestic guy. So, however, we haven't got time to mourn him right now. We do have a war to win. Of course we do. Now, we do know the Vikings are going to make a mad dash straight into Lindsay. We're going to try and be as hot on, their t on the tails as we possibly can. But we do know that these guys are probably going to make a mad dash. 
Oh, they're trying to set sail. Hopefully we can get there before they set sail. It does look like they have decided not to board their ships. Fingers crossed Alfred can defeat them again. So it does look like we have an outstanding advantage. Our bowmen are being countered, but our horsemen are doing an absolute excellent job here. A wonderful job. So let's have a quick check of some quick things that have popped up here, guys. Oh, no, one of our reeves. Okay, well, <laughs> we didn't really like you anyway, sir. So we don't mind that you've died. Well, he hasn't died yet, but uh, it's not looking promising. It's not looking promising. Do what you can, sir, but it's not looking promising. Wonderful. Okay, that was another victory. Thou shall not fight the English. Have you not learnt, you dirty Vikings? So we ha we're just literally going through the battlefield now, and we have received some notification from Winchester that our dear friend Elsiege, our bishop, has passed away. Now, bless, he, he has managed... Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the stress of getting the claim on the entire kingdom hasn't pushed him over the edge and he's literally just died in the library. Or maybe some books have fallen on him. Who knows? We're going to have to try and find out what's happened. It does apparently... He died of old age. So, okay, absolutely wonderful. As long as we didn't kill the guy by accident. Wonderful. Okay. It's terrible. Osric. Oh, my friend. Dear, dear gentle Osric. So we do have a new bishop. Of course, we don't have time to go and introduce ourselves right now as we are literally in the middle of trying to win a war here. And the last thing we have got time to do is head back to Winchester to go and meet some guy with a majestic beard. However, mm, that is a majestic beard, sir. We will have to catch up with him. We do know that he's quite a just and fair man, a bit vengeful, but we will have to go over there and meet him when we get a chance. So, absolutely wonderful. Have a quick look at the battle reports. Of course, we outnumbered them a lot. And they lost a thousand men. Oh, you guys, <laughs> you guys aren't going to have much left after this. So, quick check. Hakon, he's at the top of the list again. He is your favourite. All hail Hakon. Of course, sir, of course. We also have Edric and Ethelwald here. Of course we do. All hail these guys. So it does appear that we have been wounding and of course our dear, well, our Reeve has been wounded as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. What we're going to do is head straight over to Lindsay and start laying siege as soon as possible because we need Lindsay under our control. Now what we're going to have a quick do as well is I just want to have a quick check of Alfred's. Let me just have a check. Okay, yep, yeah, so it does appear. Yes, we do have the house. Yes, okay, wonderful. Yes, and we have the never back down. Yes, sorry, I, we just needed to see. Alfred has learnt so much. You know what Alfred's like. He's always learning stuff, and we forget what he's learnt. So, Alfred, you are so majestic, sir. So, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to lay siege over here to Lindsay. Of course, the sooner we can get this, the better. However, this is quite a fortified castle this is a very fortified castle so fingers crossed we can actually get that sieged quickly we do know that big ziggy is currently laying siege in cheshire here we're probably going to need to go over and help however let's try and see if we cannot get the siege laid on here first before we go over it is possible in fact what we're going to do here guys is we are going to leave some besieging army and we are going to head over there to Cheshire and try and help as best we can. Of course, we've had to leave quite a large force over in Lindsay because, of course, this is a highly fortified position. <laughs> What's the matter, Big Ziggy? It appears you were running, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed. So we are going to manage to catch him here. He is on a hill and we do have the advantage, but only just. We are wounding knights here. Our knight has been maimed. This is terrible. However, I do believe he was practically on his last legs anyway. Wonderful. That is... Oh, we've got... We've managed to capture the banner. So, we have managed to capture the Jorvik war banner from Big Ziggy. Now, what do we do with this, Alfred? Do we make this a fine addition, sir? Or do we burn it? I say we burn it, sir. Hmm, yes. We will burn your things. Of course. 
So we're going to head straight back over. We're going to try. We might actually leave our force here, the Second Army of North uh, Nottinghamshire, to continue the Siege of Lindsay. And we're going to try and head to Retford here. We should be able to gather some men and supplies over here because, of course, with our split force, we should be able to gather some supplies. The As you can see, the supply limit in this, this barony is able to supply us. So, absolutely wonderful. What we're going to try and do, here he comes, look. Here he comes. What we need to try and do is try and get over there as quickly as possible. It does look like we may have just messed up quite severely here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get over there as soon as possible. We do not want to be leaving our dear friends to struggle with this one. It's going to be a close one. Hopefully, Alfred can... Come on, Alfred. Our Thane has been injured. This is costing us daily. This war is costing us daily. However, we do know it's costing Big Ziggy even worse. Of course it is. He is only got, he's only got 800 men left. Quick check of the battle reports while we make our way over. Of course. So, Akon again. Akon is doing outstanding work. You deserve some armour, sir. So, we do know that we managed to slew one of the enemy champions in one of the... And we have lost, it looks like, the Reeve of Guildford. Hmm. We wasn't overly fond of you anyway, sir, so... Hmm. Let's have a quick check. Our knight has been wounded. This is terrible. So we are laying siege to two of their counties. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this should be enough to actually win the war. However, they are back over in Cheshire. Honestly, Big Ziggy here, he really has got an attraction to Cheshire. He seems to love the place. He really, really does. So, of course, we, we're currently laying siege to Jorvik. Please, Alfred, please, please be careful with Jorvik because I am actually from there. I'm actually from York in real life. So please don't wreck the place like you did in Wales. Mm. So, support. Concerns for my current war. My friend Siax Bald has aid out of his own treasury to aid the effort oh this is absolutely wonderful thank you sir he is just this is our bishop our bishop is it our bishop it's our friend so this is the bishop of canterbury he has just sent a nice fat money bag with 200 gold that is oh, outstanding what a good friend it is good to have good friends, of course. This will seriously help. Of course, Alfred's learning. Of course he is. He's constantly learning things. The man cannot be stopped. We are going to try and improve the control growth throughout our kingdom. This is going to be extremely useful. As we, Of course. <laughs> of course, of course. So, yes, okay, my dear. So, of course, guys. Of course, yes. We're at war. So random Vikings arrive. When we're not at war, we could be at peace for a hundred years and not a single Viking would step step one foot on our soil. The moment we start a war and we bugger off to the other end of the, the country, oh, the, 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 the <laughs> we hate you. We hate you. I hope we catch you. So we are going to have to go over there at some point because that is Canterbury. That is our bishop who has just sent us the money. Hopefully, fingers crossed, yes, you just do a hit and run. Oh. When we are England, we are going to go over to Scandinavia and we are literally just going to wreck the place. Right, okay, so fingers crossed we can get Lindsay captured pretty quick. We do, yes, we have it captured. Excellent. What we're going to do is we're going to try and send our army as soon as possible over here. However, what we're going to try and do is try and just stay in Derby because, of course, we simply do not have strong enough men to defeat Big Ziggy, even though we outnumber him. We've simply just got a bunch of levies in here. That is just not enough at all. So what we might try and do here is leave another besieging force, head over here and try and get Big Ziggy defeated in battle. Once we have him defeated... This should be victory and all of Jorvik will be ours. Oh, can you imagine it? Can you imagine it, noble traveller? This is extremely exciting. Calm down, Alfred. Calm down. You have the plague and your voice is going. The last thing you need is too much excitement. Wonderful. Okay. So we are going to head straight over to Cheshire here, of course. Hopefully we can defeat Big Ziggy. We should be able to defeat him. Hopefully we can get there before he can get Cheshire. 
it does look like this is going to be a very close one we have just made it in time fingers crossed we have a huge advantage there and our knight is wounding people and we have completely devastated big ziggy's army big ziggy doesn't even have an army in fact oh, i thought we'd caught big ziggy for a minute then to the dungeon with you sir hmm yes of course now after this battle and after the war and after the glorious victory everybody we will be doing the tour of the dungeons oh yes the tour of the dungeons this is going to be a fabulous tour as well because we are aware that we've caught quite a few sneaky vikings in there but that is wonderful half the rations everybody please half the rations do not let them eat too many mouse droppings wonderful absolutely wonderful we will have a quick check of the battle report here of course Hakon again, somebody give this man a certificate or something, he is extremely powerful, however he's not killed anybody yet which is a slight disappointment, never mind, we've just got confirmation, we just have confirmation, this is a victory, this is a victory, we've just caught Jorvik, we have Big Ziggy's wife, <laughs> Queen Emma, we have you my dear, you are our prisoner. So what we're going to do is we're going to enforce demands immediately. Yes, sir. We're going to enforce demands. So this is obviously a legendary victory here, guys. This is legendary. People will be singing bards of this victory for years and years. We do have two vassals that are glory hounds, which absolutely just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, three, sorry, apologies, three glory hound vassals which are just going to absolutely love this victory wonderful absolutely wonderful guys what an outstanding victory let the men go home you guys really have deserved this you really have so of course we have got an awful lot of land here now look at that england isn't she beautiful let's have a quick look at some of our new earls here these are going to be anglo-saxon of course we do want you to convert to our faith please sir and a norse man we will be getting rid of you because we don't like you sir and we have an anglo nordic we don't like you either sir however convert please thank you we do not want vikings that is the rule of course it is we do want Lindsay as well Lindsay was meant to go to burkrad however this gentleman here seems to have taken it. So we are going to have to... It's Ziggy. <laughs> oh, <no. coughs> Sorry. Apologies, guys. Apologies. The plague really is kicking in now. It would appear that big Ziggy here is now our vassal. That's right, sir. You are our vassal. Now, we're going to give you the most horrible tasks. You will literally be cleaning out the trough you will be the one who is in charge of the dung pile sir you are the dung pile master from now on somebody get this man a brush you have got a lot of cleaning to do sir hmm and we still have your wife wonderful with that being said of course of course it is dungeon time we love dungeon time guys this is exciting so who do we have we have mather here this guy's an irishman and a fairly decent one hmm Yes, well, you are in house arrest, sir. What we're going to do is we are going to let you go, sir, because you seem like a reasonable chap. And, um, yeah, we have no quarrels with you, sir. None at all. We have an Anglo-Nordic. Now, we know we don't like the Anglo-Nordic. What do we do with Anglo-Nordic prisoners? Mm. It's the dungeon with you, sir. Somebody kick this man as well. Wonderful. Plus, we don't like your name. It's too confusing. Wonderful. Oh, and you're a murderer wonderful to the dungeon with you sir we also have another anglo nordic you can rot in the dungeon as well sir somebody remove this man's hat as well you you do not deserve comfort in the in the dungeon sir and who do we have here we have the beautiful cortez emma countess apologies it is the plague kicking in so we have the beautiful countess emma we're going to keep you in house arrest, my dear, just so Big Ziggy does exactly what we tell him to do. Otherwise, pokey pokey, we will chop your head off, my love. So, absolutely wonderful. All is glorious. All is glorious. Look at that. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Let's have a quick look because we do know that our dear friend Osric has been lost in the battle. 
is terrible. It is terrible. We are devastated. Of course, once everything settles down and we get everything sorted, we will be hosting, of course, a ceremony and everything for our dear friend Osric, as well as Elf Siege, who died peacefully in his sleep of old age. Everything, you know, it will be a beautiful... I'm sure our, our Archbishop here will host a beautiful ceremony for all of those people we've lost. It is our, It is terrible. It really is. So, we need a new Chancellor. Who do we pick? Well, we know that our Grand Mayor here, he's probably needing to be on our council. Plus, he's a, an excellent diplomat as well. So, that is wonderful. I do believe... Yes, okay. So, with him being a Republic, just a very quick go into this. Normally, if you're a Duke... You're under a feudal contract. However, the republics, they're not under any contract. Their contract is to give us a certain amount of men and infantry uh, and, and, and taxes. So we're guaranteed it's not going to go up. It's not going to go down. It's absolutely fine. There's no problem with this at all. And yes, all good. All good. You, we, you seem extremely likeable, sir. We do know you're a craven, so you will do as we tell you, of course, and you will anyway, because we're Alfred and everybody loves Alfred, so wonderful. What we're going to quickly do as well is our dear friend Henry here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are going to make you an Earl as um, a Duke as well. Of course we are, sir. So let's grant this over to our dear friend here. What we're going to do is we're going to get our little... In fact, he's already in the army with us, marching back to Winchester, so we can give him the news straight away. This is absolutely wonderful, of course, of course. There you go. You are now Duke Henry. Congratulations, sir. You have deserved it. You are very majestic. So, with all that being done, it is a glorious victory, guys. Look. Oh, and she's, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. So with that being done and my voice about to literally go the way of the Vikings and completely non-exist anymore, we're going to call it a day. Alfred, past his bedtime, you know, it's past his bedtime. Join us next time. We're going to host a magnificent feast in honour of our fallen friends, of course. A big feast. You guys don't want to miss that. As well, we've got Northumbria here to absolutely devastate. He's only got a 1,000 men. This should be extremely fun. So definitely join us back next time, guys. And from me, Alfred, and all of England, we bid you a farewell.